a saying always goes nowhere cool in fact in ghana ghana is hot but when you go to nigeria it's hotter because a man actually invaded a school premises actually pulled like a lecturer confiscated some of the students phones and conducted an examination to the children and afterwards decided to abscond with their mobile gadgets wow. and this has become a polemical conversation on social media where people are asking of the safety of the students because mm -hmm. if an intruder from outside can invade a school premises, confiscate the students' phones, and still have scorn. Who might know what might come after, after that? It yeah. might be an assassin that mm -hmm. might even try to kill the That's children true. and all of that. So there's a statement hovering on social media. Let's get a statement and get the details on this conversation. All right, so according to a chat, well, some people get mind chat. This man went to FCE Beachy, entered a class of freshers, that is the NCE one, and claimed it to be their lecturer. He announced that they were going to have a quick test. While they were writing the test, he says some phones to prevent cheating. He then left, telling the class rep to collect the test and bring them to his office. That's how he ran away with the phones and says from the student. Attached is a picture of the legend. Of course, it's a legend of our time. It's a legend. Uh, exactly. <laughs> and it's quite, you know, funny in a way. Yeah. Right? As much as it's funny, it's, funny. it's yeah. a serious conversation. Mm -hmm. That's true. What do you have to add to this narrative, too? Well, I mean, in, in, in schools, I know that mm. every teacher has an ID card mm. that they use to identify each person mm. and the students obviously need to know their lecturers one after the exactly. other no lecturer should just walk into a, a classroom or maybe a lecture hall and just say that you should start uh, put your books aside and mm. all that but with this man i don't know that means the security of the children and the safety of the children uh, i mean is the students risk? yeah is at risk because if he's able to do this mm. and go scot-free then others can also you do know same. do same just yeah. because he got away with it exactly. so whatever punishment needs to be given to him should be given to him it in should. order to serve as a deterrent to others exactly yeah. and even what even hurts in this conversation is the fact that the phones he confiscated are not like the ones we can flex with yeah. like if you no have an, exactly mm -hmm. and chimpo and, and you went all the way to do that that should tell you how people are so cogitated mm -hmm. on surviving in this yeah. country because he right. did that to steal the phones mm -hmm. and also go and sell to mm -hmm. make money mm -hmm. so in this narrative it's a pilferer when we yeah. say someone's a pilferer the person is a thief okay. it is still intelligent right. but that is what is trending with this narrative on social media literally all right but yeah. he looks very innocent ah, 